uh, just in case it's put publicly. Actually, wait, no, it is going to be put publicly. It, Ma Mandy, which was one on Twitter, is asking the questions what I channel generously, generously offered. Um, so we're, we're going to start with like a little query just to make sure this is the right thing to do, and then we will get into the question and answer. Yeah. So to connect with the entity, I I put my arms up and send some love. So I'm going to do that. Um, uh, hi, Quo. Um, so, uh, let me move the person. Uh, is, how is my energy levels for this um, channeling? Uh, we are Quo. Your energy levels are perfectly suitable for this channeling. Oh, great. Um, so we're going to offer some questions, uh, which are like from Twitter and Instagram. Um, and you know, they, they all seem like very, very good questions to me. Um, but maybe some are like lower vibration or whatever than the others. And I'm curious um, if there should be some pruning of the questions, uh, like if that would benefit the contact to only like ask questions that are like we deem to be suitable or if it better just to ask all the questions that seem to be coming from a genuine place from, for the person. Hmm. We are quo. This public offering is a unique circumstance in this space time nexus. And so there is not any clear indicator from past experience what the appropriate behavior might be. However, we would offer it to each entity present, uh, Hanjo and Mandy that it is not about the quality of the questions that are asked, but rather the intention or vibration that they are asked in or from. In this sense, we would present the, the vibration of the instrument as a stellar example of such a, a vibration to approach from. Okay, great. Uh, uh, that's, that's pretty me for questions, Mandy, if you want to ask the, yeah. I'm just taking a second to make sure that I am well entrained to the energy of the instrument so that I can ask from the appropriate vibration. Are we speaking with Quo specifically because they are appropriate for this public offering? Uh, we are Quo. We thank you for the the sincere question and would like to uh, congratulate on the success of the entrainment of energies, but also direct that the lower chakras, especially the red ray chakra, could be slightly more clear in this situation. Uh, the one known as Quo is a uh, group mind of all confederation entities that are offering themselves to the public for channeling. And so offer a wide, very wide range of perspectives and opinions according to 
the questions asked. What density does Quo speak to us from? We are those known as Quo. This density is known as fourth density at this current space time nexus. Would it be helpful to clarify fourth density for listeners? This is uh, the one known as Quo. Fourth density is the density composed of love that is after the third density that is the current incarnation of the instrument and the one known as Mandy. This uh, ascension to fourth density occurs when one has sufficiently dedicated themselves to the path of service to self or service to other or positive or negative uh, with positive service to other. All right, Hanjo, unless you have questions, I'm going to move on to the ones from the list. Um, no, I think it's okay. Let's go ahead with the questions, yeah. All right. Do confederation entities have minds? Thank you for this question. We scan the mind of this instrument and see it is from Axel Apocalypse. We thank him for his sincere and kind question. The question of a mind for the entities known as Quo is substantially different from those known in the third density for mind has ceased being a construct that is readily accessible in space-time and instead has become an instrument readily accessible in time-space. Would it be possible to clarify the difference between a mind existing in space-time and a mind existing in time-space? We thank the one we are we are quo. We thank the one known as Mandy for the follow up question to clarify our meaning. The difference between time space and space time is similar to that of a glass of water that has been tipped upside down, and now the glass, the water cannot escape the glass. In space-time, that glass of water is in a constant upside-down state, such that the water of knowledge might be accessed by opening a gateway. Uh, then the water may come forth, and the cup may be depleted. However, in time-space, the water is always accessible and readily available for perusal in the sense that we can simply look into the water without or touch the water without needing to go through the process of lifting the cup. Thank you for the clarification. User Mao Chu would like to know, am I on course to being harvestable? I feel strange saying that, but I'd like something to gauge my efforts. We are those known as Quo. We grace, gratefully thank this entity for their humble query and would like to offer the notion that we are not the arbiters and controllers of the harvest, but it is a mechanical uh, process that, and, and energetic process that happens without the intention of entities involved. Thus, we would offer it to the one known as Mao Chu that 
it is readily on course to be harvestable and in fact could be harvestable now if so inclined however it has some attachment to the physical body and this leaves some question of harvest Ready for the next question? We are those known as Quo. We offer a chance for a follow up, or uh, we would like to offer a chance to follow up on our on our statements, or proceed to the next question. Do you have advice for releasing that attachment to the physical body? We are those known as Quo. The attachment to the physical body in the one known as Machu comes as a pre-incarnative choice. And so releasing that attachment would be akin to flying through the air in third density with just the human body, as in it is not possible. Thank you. This is from Jack. After Jupiter communed with me for three to four days, an entity woke up a week or two later and it was very intense and it felt different. I don't want to bring night entity back because I liked the way that Jupiter did it. I did prostration connection to Jupiter, but it stopped coming. I don't know why. We are quo. We scan the mind of the instrument known as Hanjo to complete this query. Although the one known as Jack has some compatibility with Jupiter, it this entity known as Jack also has an inclination towards the service to self path. Thus, by choosing that path over service to others, it has reintroduced or uh, made present the already present thing that was in Jack to connect with the night entity. If the one known as Jack seeks to connect with Jupiter, the service to others path must be better communed with. We are quo. We would offer a follow up question or another question if desired. Jack has a few more questions specifically, but would it be helpful for him to know how to move off of the service to self path and towards the service to other path? We are quo. The entity known as Jack has received instruction from the entity known as Hanjo in this regard, and we would not seek to karmically interfere with that entity's path. Yep. Uh, Jack would also like to know who is the entity in the shower that looked through my eyes on acid? We are those known as Quo. We note the excitement of the instrument at this question and Congratulate it on finding joyous presence with our communion. This entity that seemed to look through the eyes of the one known as Jack was none other than his own self present in his mind from the future through communion over the, with the substance known as acid we suggest to the one known as Jack that he will come into this understanding himself when this occurs for him in the future. Jack's final question is, how bad is jerking off for your health? 
we are those known as quo. What is called jerking off is a act that uses physical energy for the body. There is no other use. I mean, if Jack wants to know more about this, I can point him to a bunch of Taoist resources on, on how to actually navigate that question. <laughs> um, Chloe would like to know about their path and how they're seen by Quo as an entity. We are Quo. This entity known as Chloe has been monitored by confederation entities for a substantial period of time across their incarnations. We humbly offer that the answer to their seeking is within, not with our presence. Fantastic man would like to share that recently they have been rather down and tired and they just want to know what to do from this point, what to strive for and to put their energy into. We are quo. We know that the entity known as Fantastic has had trouble recently maintaining its energy and would direct that entity to examine the lifestyle that it is leading at this current space-time nexus. Rather than pursue some higher ideal as a solution for low energy, we would suggest that physical uh, fixes may be in order we correct this instrument, physical corrections towards the entity's behavior may be suitable for further understanding of the personal energy flow that occurs for this entity. The next question is, what is the best way to recognize and work with explosive, hurtful emotions as they are occurring? There is an attached question. When we want to stay in love and spirit, but earth and blood rise up and shut out all intelligence. We are those known as Quo. We thank the one known as Pirate for his well-crafted question. This is a simple but difficult to integrate solution. When such explosive energies arrive, one can treat them as if they were old friends visiting again and thank them for this opportunity to deeper pursue the path to enlightenment through their means. For it is not by avoiding these feelings that one awakens, but by entering into them and greeting them as friends or lovers and coming to a, harm, a harmonious union with these feelings. This answer extends not just to this question, but all spiritual matters. We have uh, three more questions. Should I ask them separately or ask them? I should ask them separately. There's no name attached to these. What do I do from here to get enlightened? We are quo. The one known as Hans asked these questions. Um, enlightenment, as suggested by the one known as Hans, is 
a substantial transformation of the entity from one moment to the next. However, we would caution this entity to not overly focus on such a transformation and instead direct attention to worldly matters such as those of the family or friends. It is through harmonious integration of these aspects that an eventual sudden transformation might occur. But by putting your view too far into the future and staying fixated there, one might miss the natural and required process to get to the finish line. Is there a way or place to connect to for guidance? We are those of Quo. There is much rejoicing from our side at this question. We would offer the instrument known as Hanjo as the most suitable avenue for a connection and guide the entity to contemplate this intention before bed uh, as to propagate the influence of confederation entities into its being. And so thus eventually, perhaps not in this incarnation, develop compatibility with our vibration, no frequency. Last question from Hans. Why am I here? We are those known as Quo. This query is a common one for entities in the third density and is a natural result of the veil of forgetting introduced by the third density as a natural consequence for being born. Rather than provide guidance for why the one known as hands might be here. We instead offer that the one known as hands might find purpose in pursuing this question to its fullest extent by itself. All right, this is the end of the listed questions. I, I want to see if I, I let's see if I have any questions for now as well, just to see finish it off. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just curious how. Like, is there any way that the way that this session was conducted could be improved from any aspect? We are quo. We caution the entity known as gently caution the entity known as Hanjo to refrain from over -analy analytical thinking in regards to the session, especially in regards to propagation of the material uh, on YouTube, Patreon, or other avenues. It is not important how this material is distributed, it is important that it was done. Through contact with our vibrational frequency, we heal the Earth's fields and connect the Earth closer, uh, the Earth's inhabitants closer to their fourth density coming reality. We thank the one known as Mandy and the one known as Hanjo for this opportunity and leave you in the love and light of the infinite creator. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Very good. <laughs> I'll stop the recording now. Yeah. yeah.